Hello. We've got a serious mirror match here. I thought I was playing ourselves for a moment. I thought I was playing ourselves. Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Anywho. Let's have a little look. Okay, so... They have suffered even more than we have with, uh... You know, injury and such, but... Uh, still rocking two rerolls. Have they played not many games? Well, they've played... They've played five games, so they've played nearly as many games as us. They've got the start that we would have liked. Uh, their catches have developed a lot better, which is nice. And they have a strip ball war dancer, uh, which could be useful in this game. Uh, but not a lot else to write home about. We do at least have a tackle, which is nice, and we do have a mighty blow. I think I'm remembering that right. So those could both come in solid for us, but they are going to have some, um, some money to work with. I'm not sure how much, actually. Okay, 100k. Yeah, because they're only one person down. Whoa, they spent all their money. Okay. Desperate to keep their winning record going. Why does everybody buy wizard? Why does everybody <laughs> buy overcosted wizards against us? It's it's not cool. It happens all the time. I mean, you know, you 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 know. I'm recording the matches, so you can see. So this would be a tough game, but um, the wizard could be a big factor, but it could also not. We'll have to see. I know that's a kind of a silly thing to say. Okay, they just have a set set up. Very quickly off the mark. So we're actually going to try and knock this line over for once in our existence. Uh, we're just gonna, like, bop some people. And then probably... Hmm. I don't think the Mighty Blow... I think we're gonna put the Mighty Blow on the front line. Try and hit one of these guys, so I'd rather tackle one of these guys behind, because he's got a line of uh, dodge back there. Uh, we'll put the ball on our Bludger for now, seeing as they don't have tackle. We need to attempt to protect the... Uh, you know, shenanigans. But there's only so much you can do. I guess I could use a second catcher. Actually, no, I want this guy to hit first. So let's say we boot that way. Yeah, okay. This'll do. So I don't know if they're going with the two rerolls because of players getting damaged. Okay, that's not a bad kick. So it's already next to us. I'm going to drop back. We're not in a huge hurry here. Okay, so no dice there. I expected such a start. It's a classic push start. And let's see. Let's go ahead and hit this. Alright, that's fine. No armor breaks yet, unfortunately. Bit disappointing. Okay. 
I would love to get uh, get some like that for us. I don't remember the last time we had no armor breaks. We no we only knocked three guys down, I guess. But yeah, overall fairly disappointing. This is where they come in and armor break us instantly. Not to be cynical. Yep. It's weird, sometimes you can just feel these things. So we've suddenly gone from, yeah, we should be able to get a pretty decent numbers advantage here to, like, nope. We're on the back foot. Oh, that's nice, though. No armor break, unfortunately. Okay, so... Let's see, how do we want to tackle this? I think we're going to contact. Hmm. Are we? Ah, I'm having indecision here, which I don't like. Solid. No dice on Mighty Blow. We did even out the removals though. I mean, sort of. That was a KO. Very nice. So he's basically got one more hit against us. He could hit this guy, but he'd have to stand somebody up here as well, so he's probably not going to bother now. He was hoping to knock this guy over and then hit down on Cedar. Okay, this is fascinating. Looks like he's going for a uh, three dice. And going for the foul. Okay. Was not expecting. Getting them up early in case uh, we have a complete disaster here. Can I get there? Yeah, I can. Oh, 
we had a complete disaster. <laughs> I know it's not really, but it feels like it. I wonder if he'll three dice this guy. Oh no, come on, that's not cool. Okay, that's not cool. We can kind of afford to take these hits. I mean, it's a bit risky. But But we do still have the blitz to try and deal with this guy, so... Now all he needs is one guy to uh, hit this guy. So we'll see if he tries it or if he's gonna... Yeah, we'll see what he tries. He's got a wizard, so... I think we'll pop this guy... You know what? Let's actually pop this guy... here. Because that makes it kind of annoying to get around. You've got to kind of go, go over the top. I could put him here, but then they can all circulate into here. Wow, okay. He's playing some wild stuff. Okay. He got the knockdown. What's the plan? Oh, the plan is Helen. Okay. This is such a... I mean... It's such a crazy style of play. Two of one, five in a row with. Like, because he doesn't have subs or anything. <laughs> I mean, you know, if it works, it works though. I mean, they're going after our tackler, so that is that is a thing. Ah, uh, not you. Let's pop you up here. I'm gonna see if I can hit this guy down. Probably can't. All I need is a pair, or or both down. Hey, we can do it too. Let's stay. Okay, I hate to say it, but Mighty Blow has not been quite as effective as we'd like. <laughs> so we're not going to do a cage cage, because, you know, fireball is a thing. But we're going to try and make it awkward for these war dancers to get up there. Uh, could you be doing this? No, not really. You could, maybe. It's probably really annoyed me for taking a long time. He's playing so fast. Let's put somebody right here. So we definitely don't have an invincible setup here. And it's definitely fireballer. 
you know, you can definitely fireball that. I'm trying to decide where to pop this guy. Mm, let's pop him here. There's no real safe way to do this. When there's a wizard, when they've brought in the wizard, you just gotta hit and hope. They could fireball this, because this is not, this is not firm. So I saw some resisting there. Okay, mostly resisted, but they did get they did get a gap there to hit through. The question is, can these guys get the ball free and get it down to these guys? Maybe. These guys being here is nice. Alright, solid. Alright, so who are we going to try and hit this time? Probably this guy. Let's first bring you to here. In case this goes wrong. I mean, we've got three rerolls still, so. Yeah, he's kind of getting lucky on getting the KOs. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I take it back. But still, we, we kind of did this, so we got a bit of a blocker to these guys coming in. Does it stop them? No. But it makes it a bit more awkward for them to get in this corner. And the longer I can keep them down here, the less likely they're going to do like some last turn shenanigans. It looks like they're actually going to go for... Uh, removal again. Uh, in the hopes that they can probably, in the hopes that they can one turn it. I mean they're getting the knockdowns. This guy probably going to come around and foul now. I guess at some point this is going to work and uh, we are going to be sad. Alright, removal for him is excellent. Because now he's out of position. I mean, not that Wood Elves can't kind of come back, but, uh, but still. So I think we do this. I'd like to hit with the mighty blow, but don't really trust it. Not on the dodge. See? No result there. Uh, 
Now let's see, can you be a pain? A little bit. Gotta make it so they can only one dice us, because that could be a problem. I don't know if they're going to try any last turn war dance shenanigans. Can we roll that if he wants? Oh, they're going to foul here again. This has been a weird game. <laughs> I really want to hand off here. Uh, but instead I think I am going to try and hit this catcher because he's easy to hit and we have the rerolls. Uh, I'm going to try for the three dice. Not that Mighty Blow has been working any better than regular blocking but you know. Greed. That that was that was more risky than I normally like to be. Ah, uh, we just got us done for it. Oh well. Cause cause getting that guy off the field would be amazing for their one turn attempt. Okay, so they have three still out for this. I think having guys without block on the front is better. Now, do I try and make it awkward up front, or do I just try, do I let them, I think I try and make it awkward up front. So are you my other catcher? Yeah, you are. Okay, I don't know if this is the appropriate setup, but I'm trying it. Defending one turn touchdowns is not my speciality. Uh, I'm just trying to make it awkward if they push it into here, because I'm trying to make it so they have to dodge through in a more difficult way, basically. But I, I get the feeling, the speed that this guy's playing at, and his win rate, I feel like he know he's gonna he's gonna know how to do this. So we'll see how well or how poorly we've blocked it. I'd like to think I've at least made it hard, and the fact that he has four less players definitely makes it harder. But I'm imagining this is a person that plays a lot from the speed they're playing. Um, and not like 
apart from like one or two weird dodges with war dancers, it's been like pretty sensible stuff. Oh, that deep kick is nice. So, let's see. Let's see how they tackle this. I tried to keep my valuable players kind of locked inside as well. Uh, it doesn't mean they can't get to them if they just knock these guys down, but if they decide to abandon the one turner. Going for the pass early makes sense because once you get down here it's going to be much harder. So trying to get this while it's only two guys on the ball is obviously uh, a lot more likely to work. And indeed did work. Alright, so let's see how they go about this. He's got to get like two squares. That's a rough start. And that might kill it. Yeah, yeah, he's given up. He's knocking some guys over though, so he may get a removal here. Oh, I was just saying that, I didn't, didn't really want it to happen though. No. He's playing the foul game. Oh, that's one each. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, he's wrecking our team. <laughs> but that was a fairly even trade. Okay, so we're at even teams now. Um, but what is the... Okay, we've lost three basic linemen. He's kind of lost three basic linemen. So, he kind of got lucky with who came back there a bit. But yeah, he's doing some... Doing us some serious damage. Needs to score twice. Uh, that's what catches up front. War dancers in the back. I'm actually going to spread these guys a bit. Okay, and let's see what he does. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, six, eight. The only thing he's really hesitated on was the one turner so far. Yeah, this, this speed of play that they have going, it, it kind of inherently makes me nervous, even though, I mean, there's no reason for it to. Because you feel that added sense of pressure yourself. So I just need to kind of relax and do what I'm going to do. Okay, bribes, interesting, because he was already fouling, but now we can, we can foul as well. Uh, I'm sure he's going to continue to foul mercilessly, but... But yeah, he's obviously going for heavy removal here. Oh, that's uh, that is excellent. Okay. So we have a two dice here. Um, can maybe get up to that. You're one of ours, aren't you? You're just pretending not to be. Yeah, where do you want to go? Probably back, right? I may have to... No, okay. Staying where you are. Um, do we want to follow up there? No. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I guess it's only fair. Probably go here now. Nope. Okay. Use the stun. Um, hmm. Do we want tackle up there? No. Uh, oh, we've got to go in the way there. Let's just pop it here. I don't want to commit it too hard. Got a one dice there. Oh, he's a catcher. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a bit risky, but let's do it. That's fine. Solid. So he kind of has to deal with this now. He'd have liked to have knocked everybody down over here, but he kind of has to sort the ball out, otherwise he's in big trouble. He went with the strip ball, just to get it loose. Makes sense. That's a great place for it to land there, because this guy's kind of at his range end. Yeah, it's like, does he go next to it just in case, but it's going to take some work. Okay, so he's just going to move this guy, and then he's going to bring this guy in to pick it up. No big deal using the dodge there. Oh, this is a thrower. Okay, didn't even realize that. I didn't expect that. What was that to avoid? I guess the war dancer? Very interesting. Okay, so... Excellent. Uh, let's see what we can do about this war dancer. Get the old tackle going. No dice there. So I think we are going to attempt this foul. Yeah. Or try and use the bribe. Okay, successful. Let's pop this guy here. There's no real need for us to be up here at this point.
Okay, that was interesting. So we keep this war dancer in the back. And then we do have to apply some pressure now. So I think I'm going to put the catcher on their catcher. We're not going to go fully up here. We're going to bring this guy up some so that he can threaten hits. We're going to, uh, let's see, could hit him. I can't get an, uh, can I get an assist? Yeah, I can. So we're going to try and hit the war dancer. We'll pop a blocker on... Hmm, no, let's... Yeah. Pop a blocker on this guy. And this puts our, our war dancer kind of in the zone. Um, let's see... No. Okay, we got the stun anyway. And I think we just keep this guy kind of as in check as we can. For now. Uh, we are playing against Wood Elves. So we know that there's danger. This guy's not quite in scoring range. He'd like him to be. I think he might be just trying to throw away the game here. I think he's done. I think that's what that was kind of saying. So how, what's the situation like? It's pretty good for us. So I think we do take this in. No, we don't take it in. Well, let's see if we pick it up. Yeah, I think we take it in. I mean, we'll see kind of how he deploys as, you know, as compared to... Okay, that's pretty bad for him. Um, yeah, I just think we set up the same way here. try and get our catcher another touchdown. But I'm not going to be mean to him. I mean, our team's pretty broken. Let's let's not forget. I think we lost two linemen there, at least. Um, but he did kind of throw in a towel. And as much as I would like to farm more SPP, um, that was a, a tough game, and we came out good. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hurt him more for that. As a Wood Elf player, <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, yeah, we're going to need that. I'm not going to re-roll. Well, I could, because if it goes down to 70, 
No, it's okay. I think Birch leveled up there. Um, but yeah, I think we did overall have a, a stronger team. The Tackle and the Mighty Blow, the Agility 5, uh, more than made up for the like bludgy sidestepper catches he had. So, um, yeah, and his, you know, like, the problem with two rerolls is when you do get that double skull early on your turn, you have to throw it away, and then you're down to one reroll for the rest of the half. So it is it is why I hate having two rerolls, and I guess that's, you know, he's probably been on that because his team has died so much. So uh, despite his good record, we'll give him a break on, uh, on anything else there because um, he did have some, he did kind of have some rough fortune as well. Um, I think he had some reasonable fortune too. He was he was doing well for removals considering he was often hitting guys with bludge. Um, and he fouled a lot. Um, which is, you know, risky and... It's risky when you don't have more players on the bench. So yeah, I think Juniper might be dead, right? Yeah. Juniper's dead. Pine's back, but Pine's got... Oh boy, our team is so broken. Uh, we did level up a couple of guys, though, so. A six. Uh, we're just going to go block again. I could go for a wrestle one, but you don't want a wrestle catcher. Uh, you really don't. On a high elf catcher, you might do, because you can use them as like a, like a third blitzer then. But a blitzer with wrestle is really handy. So you can give them a uh, wrestle and strip ball. And you have a catcher who's actually a better ball blitzer. Then you can use your regular blitzes to kind of get tackle a mighty blow if you if you're all the double and make them into actual hard men or get guard or whatever you know although guard on catches is really good on house as well guard on wood elf catches is very nice but we haven't rolled a double yet uh i don't really have a plan for this tackle kind of makes sense honestly because this guy is a retriever um, sidestep is always nice, but I don't think it's as critical yet. It may, you know, it could well be our next one we get. Uh, some people actually get wrestle as a skill on war dancers despite having block, so that you have the choice. I'd like to get frenzy on somebody, but not him. Maybe just a regular guy. Um, dauntless honestly isn't a bad skill. Because you come up against those strengthful ball carriers, and you're like, ugh, this is not good. I think we did recently. Um, fend? No. Although I have played a Wood Elf team where I gave everybody Fend. It's pretty nice. Sidestep and Fend is really annoying to try and get the ball off of the, your, uh, <clears throat> your ball carriers. Catch, sprint, dive and catch, sidestep, jump up. I mean, jump up's not terrible. But it's not. Yeah. Diving tackle could be really useful in our catches once we get them sidestep. I will I will consider that, because I don't generally get them extra catch skills. Uh, dive and catch is nice, of course, but... Meh. Dive and tackle is, is such an annoying skill. Jump up is actually really solid on a war dancer actually because they get knocked over a lot. And you know, you have the instant jump up of like the two plus block, but more often than not, it's useful when you've been knocked over and they try and move the ball away from you. Because then you have that element of surprise of like still having your full movement. Um, and that can be really invaluable for keeping the pitch covered when they think they've kind of got you. They basically have to foul you to keep you from getting back at the ball. Uh, but right now, tackle makes the most sense. Uh, not only because that means we have two tackles now, which is really useful against elf teams, but because as a secondary removal skill, uh, it's just it's just invaluable. So now, um, you know, when you when you come up against those, uh, you know people with sure hands and dodge, you have answers for, for, for them. 
uh, which does happen. Not to mention, it's just nice to have that tackle to be able to, you know, knock over skinks and stuff. Alright, it's, it's a really handy skill. So I'm going to have to buy in uh, another lineman, which is going to put us up to something, but... Do I leave Pine in here temporarily? I mean, it's it's super risky. People are going to be gunning for him. Let's see, once I take out Juniper... Let's take out Juniper now. I hate to, because he's got 5 experience, but Niggle is, is a Niggle. Um, let's, for the moment, try and get our team back to a more of a... Okay, so if I, br if I buy one in now... Oh, we'd only be one player down next game, if I get rid of Pine. Which isn't terrible. Because I'm a value 6, it's, it's so bad. I don't know the percentages, but it's bad. Um, I guess the percentage is 7 is the most commonly rolled number on a dice, and, you know, for I'm a value 7, guys, you're at least like, well, 8's slightly less likely to get rolled because there's so many iterations of 7. But for I'm a value 6 guy, all those iterations of 7 suddenly are um, going to injure you as well. So I think it's a pretty big uh, percentage leap there. Uh, from 6 to 7. It gets gradually smaller and smaller as you go up, so that's why you don't often even see people giving armor value to, like, armor value 9s, because even though 10 makes you like, woo, that's going to be really hard to injure them, the percentage is such such uh, a lot smaller in terms of how often it gets rolled between those than the percentage of how often you're going to roll between a 6 and a 7. Um, yeah. So I probably will farm. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it later when I when I buy the extra guy. Uh, but now, yeah, our record is good. And that was against a 5-0 player, so uh, I feel pretty good about that. I think, weirdly, we are one of the... The way our team was set up was one of the things that they would least like to face, because we out-agility them, and... Uh, which, like, nobody does, uh, and we outbash them. So we had, like, you know, usually they know when they come up against a bashy team, well, at least we can do our shenanigans and get the ball down. Um, and that's why they've, you know, probably got a good record. They've played against more of that, but we were kind of the same team, but with just that little bit of bash built in, and, that, and, it, and it's really big. Uh, just having the tackle in place and a few more guys with block... Very, very handy. Uh, so we've made it into the 300s. <laughs> Each game, like, at this stage, when you when you have such a small record, is like you're jumping up, like, tens and tens of places. Um, because we're down in the doldrums because we've played so few. But yeah, good stuff. Um, yeah, a rocky start, but we've... Uh, what have we done? So win, 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 win. Yeah, so we've had five wins um, in a row, which, yeah, took us from a 1-2-1 to a 6-2-1, so... Rocky start, but we got back on track. Got in the elf, the wood elf mentality of winning. Thanks for watching. Kind of a, a slightly short one, which is uh, interesting. It was kind of a gentle concede. That was, that was a much better way of conceding than just leaving the keyboard, though. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.